Royal Entry is one of the playlist-specific weapons added into Destiny 2 during Season of the Chosen, and today I'm going to have a look at the weapon, the stats, the god rolls to chase for PvP and PvE, as well as how to get Royal Entry in Destiny 2. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. Well, Royal Entry is a legendary power rocket launcher with a precision frame, meaning this weapon fires a small auto-tracking missile, and missiles lock onto targets when aimed. Looking at the stats, we've got 54 for stability, 48 for handling, 36 for reload speed, 47 for velocity, 65 for blast radius. It's a 15 rounds per minute rocket launcher with one in the magazine. And Royal Entry is comparable to Sub-Zero Salvo, which is another precision frame rocket launcher, and that one is the Europa rocket launcher from Beyond Light. So comparing the two, Royal Entry has plus 9 on stability, plus 1 on handling, minus 5 on reload speed, minus 6 on velocity, and it's got the same for blast radius, RPM, and magazine size. So if you like a more stable rocket launcher, then Royal Entry is probably one for you. Well, let's have a look at the perks and the god rolls. So for PvP, quick draw and cluster bomb would be a good roll. So getting the rockets into your hand, then firing one off that ends up in a cluster bomb. And that could take out more than one guardian at a time if you are lucky. And quick draw and wellspring would be another decent PvP roll. For PvE, field prep and chain reaction would be good. Or maybe field prep and lasting impression. So field prep is good as you get increased ammo reserves. Faster reload and stow and ready when you're crouching. So lasting impression is a good new perk and this is where your rocket sticks in the enemy and then blows up a few seconds later. I must say personally I prefer a rocket launcher perk that kind of helps you blow things up much quicker. Something like chain reaction or cluster bomb. That is my personal preference. Well, next up let's have a look at how to get royal entry and to get this one you're going to have to run Strikes or Nightfalls as this is a playlist specific weapon and there is a random chance to get this to drop at the end of matches much like Bottom Dollar for Gambit and Frozen Orbit for Crucible. So one of the good things about farming this weapon especially if you're running Nightfalls so you can double up on farming for old weapons like the Palindrome, the Swarm or Shadow Price so you can basically do a double farm. Well, let's have a look at some rocket mods so Argent Ordnance is a decent mod to pick up to use with rockets as it gives you about a 20% buff to rocket damage. Once activated, Argent Ordnance promises dealing damage to powerful combatants, gives you a major increase to rocket launcher damage for a short time, consuming one stack of charge with light. So when you charge with light, you'll see a buff called God Slayer Warheads active, but you do have to have the rocket launcher in your hand to see that buff, so you know when it's time to fire off those rockets. And across the board, like I said, you do get a 20% buff to rockets, which isn't too bad. And Bungie did give rocket launchers a 30% buff to bosses, so rockets are really nice and viable this season. And to get charged with light, you can do this through something like Taking Charge or the Elemental Well mod called Elemental Charge. And you can pick that up from the war table in the helm. Well, let me know down in the comments what you think of Royal Entry in Destiny 2, and let me know in the comments what roles you've got. Well, that is it for this guide on how to get Royal Entry in Destiny 2. And as always, thank you so much for watching. For more Destiny 2 content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. If you want to join the community, check out the Discord link in the description, or you can follow me on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Thanks again, I'll see you in the next video. I don't think they can hear you. Try yelling louder. Look, I get it. I do. But Zavala survived. Do you have any idea what would happen if we lost him? They might as well cut our throats. That man is the glue holding us together. You're close? He's family. Like Cora, too, and... And Cade. I miss him something fierce. Cade Six. Wish I could have met him. Some of the stories I've heard. Yeah. His killer got what was coming to him. Does that make it easier? Not really. I'm sorry. Hey, you wanna get a drink or something when we get back?
In the city? I've always wanted to try that. You ain't never had a drink in the city before? Oh, crow, buddy. Buckle up.